This is a tutorial for finding an animated GIF for use in your presentations, uh, combining a search, Creative Commons, and a Google image search. They have a new filter today that's an animation filter, so let's try it. First we would go to searchcommons.org and it gave me a suggestion which I will take and here we are at the search for Creative Commons kinds of materials which is important for us to find if we're doing presentations that we don't want to worry about copyright with for. So uh, I am going to try to find something that I can modify, adapt, or build on. I could tap on that, use for commercial purposes, but this is for my presentation. So that's a, fine the way it is. I'm, now I'm going to do the second half, which is do a Google image search. If it will let me. Oh, I have to put in a query. Funny how that works. And there are a bunch of images that come up. I still have not chosen an animated GIF. There are different ways to filter, as you might know. Uh, I can do it by size by color, I can do it by time, I can do it by subject, by personal um, personal results that I've maybe done a search before, I can do it to show sizes, but what I'm going to do is choose the new option that Google has put in today which is animated. Yay! And so I find that there is only one option, which is fine. Let's look and see if it's something that we want to put in our presentation. We'll go ahead and click on it, and um, it does a little bit of uh, motion here. Notice that it's in German, and it's from Wikimedia. Wikimedia is a very um, good place to find media that's reusable without worrying about copyright. And in order to put it into my project, I'm going to click on View Original Image, and I'm going to copy and paste the URL into my project. That's all there is to it. Now, your teacher and, um, will, might want more information for citing than that. They might ask you to use Chicago style, for instance. So what you would do to get more information about this particular image is to visit the page. And somewhere on here will be more information about, about the file itself, the history, um, etc., etc. So, yes, very important to use material that is reusable um, and have fun with it.